Ever wondered why the sunshine vitamin, vitamin D often misunderstood, can actually pose a risk when consumed excessively? It's a question that's been on the lips of health enthusiasts and medical experts alike. When it comes to vitamins and nutrients, we often hear the mantra, more is better. This belief extends to vitamin D, fondly referred to as the sunshine vitamin because our bodies naturally produce it when exposed to sunlight. However, this widespread belief can lead to a dangerous misunderstanding. The idea that more is always better and that it's virtually impossible to take too much vitamin D is not only misleading but potentially harmful. You see, vitamin D, like all nutrients, does not adhere to the more is better philosophy. Instead, it follows the principle of balance. Too little and your body suffers too much and you're opening a whole new can of health problems. Vitamin D is essential for our bodies, no doubt about that. It helps our bodies absorb calcium, promoting bone growth and strength. But just because it's essential doesn't mean we should consume it without thought or consideration. Like a tightrope walker, we need to find the perfect balance to avoid falling on either side. It's crucial to understand that vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. This means it's stored in the body's fatty tissue and can build up over time if consumed excessively. Unlike water-soluble vitamins that your body can easily excrete when in excess, fat-soluble vitamins stick around, increasing the risk of toxicity. Now, this doesn't mean you should shun vitamin D completely. It just means we need to be more aware of our intake and the potential risks associated with overconsumption. There's a fine line between getting enough vitamin D to support our health and taking too much that it becomes harmful. So, before you reach for that vitamin D supplement, let's delve deeper into the consequences of vitamin D overdose. Did you know that your body can produce its own vitamin D when your skin is exposed to sunlight? But what happens when you cross the limit? Vitamin D is often referred to as the sunshine vitamin. This is because our bodies are designed to produce it naturally when our skin is exposed to sunlight. The process is quite fascinating. Our skin absorbs ultraviolet B rays from the sun, which triggers the conversion of cholesterol in our skin cells into vitamin D. This is then absorbed into our bloodstream and transported throughout our body to carry out various vital functions. One of the most intriguing aspects of this process is that our bodies have a built-in mechanism to prevent vitamin D overdose from sunlight. Once an optimal level of vitamin D is produced, our skin naturally starts to limit the conversion of sunlight into vitamin D. This is nature's way of maintaining a healthy balance and protecting us from the potential harms of overconsumption. But what if we're getting our vitamin D not from the sun, but from supplements? This is where the risk of overdose comes into play. Unlike sunlight, the body has no natural mechanism to regulate the absorption of vitamin D from supplements. So, if we consume more than the recommended dose, the excess vitamin D starts to build up in our body, leading to a condition known as hypervitaminosis D. Hypervitaminosis D can lead to a range of health problems, from nausea and vomiting to more serious issues like kidney damage. It's a stark reminder that even essential vitamins can become harmful when taken in excess. This brings us to a crucial point. While supplements can be a useful tool to address vitamin deficiencies, they should not be used as a substitute for a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. Relying too heavily on supplements can tip the balance in the wrong direction, leading to overconsumption and its associated health risks. While vitamin D plays a crucial role in our health, it's clear that too much of a good thing can lead to problems. Have you ever thought about the potential harm of popping those vitamin D pills excessively? Let's break it down. Now before we dive deeper, it's important to remember that vitamin D is indeed essential for our bodies. It facilitates the absorption of calcium, helps in cell growth, and supports our immune system, among other important functions. But too much of a good thing can sometimes be harmful, and the same applies to vitamin D. One of the most significant health risks associated with vitamin D overdose is hypercalcemia, a condition characterized by too much calcium in your blood. This can lead to a host of health problems such as bone pain, kidney problems, and cardiovascular issues. When there's an excess of vitamin D in your system, it triggers an increased absorption of calcium from your diet. This surplus of calcium can then accumulate in your bloodstream, leading to hypercalcemia. Symptoms of this condition might include frequent urination, abdominal pain, nausea, and at times even depression or confusion. Now let's talk about the kidneys. These vital organs are responsible for filtering waste and excess substances from our blood, including surplus calcium. However, when faced with a continual overload of calcium due to vitamin D overdose, they can struggle to keep up. This can potentially lead to kidney damage or even kidney failure in severe cases. And then there's the heart. 
high levels of calcium in the blood can lead to calcification in the arteries, a condition where calcium deposits form on the inner lining of the arteries. This can stiffen the arteries, impairing heart function and potentially leading to heart disease. Research has consistently backed these points, showing a clear link between vitamin D overdose and these health risks. It's crucial to remember that while vitamin D is essential, its consumption must be regulated. It's surprising, isn't it, how something as essential as vitamin D can turn against us when taken in excess. So, you might be wondering how much vitamin D is too much? Well, here's the thing. The recommended daily intake of vitamin D isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. It varies depending on several factors. Let's delve into these factors one by one. First off, age plays a significant role. Infants up to 12 months old require about 400 international units daily, while children and adults from 1 to 70 years need 600 international units. For those above 70, the recommendation increases to 800 international units daily. Now let's talk about skin type. Darker skin types, which have more melanin, may require more vitamin D as melanin reduces the skin's ability to produce vitamin D from sunlight, hence people with darker skin may need to consume more vitamin D through their diet or supplements. Geography is another influencing factor. If you live far from the equator, your skin makes less vitamin D from the sun, especially during the winter months. Therefore, individuals living in these regions may need to consider dietary sources or supplements to meet their vitamin D requirements. Lastly, sun exposure has a significant impact. The amount of sun exposure you get can affect how much vitamin D your body produces. However, it's essential to remember that prolonged exposure to the sun can lead to skin damage and skin cancer. Thus, it's a delicate balance to maintain. On that note, while it's important to ensure you're getting enough vitamin D, it's equally crucial not to overdo it. Excess vitamin D can lead to health issues like kidney damage or heart disease. So, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen. Remember, when it comes to vitamin D, balance is key. In the end, it's all about understanding and respecting our body's needs, isn't it? We've journeyed through the paradox of vitamin D, dug deep into the science of overconsumption, unveiled the dark side of overdose, and pondered upon how much is too much. Let's circle back to our key points. Vitamin D, often hailed as the sunshine vitamin, is essential for our health. Yet like anything in life, too much of it can tip the balance from beneficial to detrimental. Overconsumption has been linked to a host of issues from nausea and weight loss to kidney damage and heart problems. While it's tempting to think that if a little is good, more must be better, this isn't the case with vitamin D. The body has a Goldilocks zone, a just right amount it needs. Exceeding this can lead to vitamin D toxicity, a serious condition that can have long-lasting impacts. This is where the importance of moderation comes into play. It's not about completely avoiding vitamin D, it's about taking the right amount. Your body's requirement might differ from your neighbors, your siblings, or your best friends. This brings us to our next point, consultation with healthcare providers. Before you start popping those vitamin D supplements, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional. They can guide you about the right dose based on your body's needs and your lifestyle. And let's not forget, Vitamin D is naturally available in sunlight and certain foods. So, before turning to supplements, consider if you can meet your needs through a balanced diet and some time spent under the sun. So, the next time you think about vitamin D, remember it's not about more, it's about just right.